Number 28. The xy plane above shows one of the two points of intersection of the graphs of a linear function and a quadratic function. The shown point of intersection has coordinates vw. If the vertex of the graph of the quadratic function is at 419, what is the value of w? Tricky question, but they give us a little hint by really emphasizing that 419 is the vertex because we can use that along with the vertex form of the quadratic to get us started. So this is the little tip for this video is to remember or learn the vertex form. So you know the standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and that's pretty much useful in every other question type when you're dealing with quadratics. But here we need the vertex form, which looks something like this. y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. This point h comma k is the vertex. So in this question, we know the vertex is 419. We're going to plug those numbers into our vertex form. The a we don't quite know yet, so we're going to have to hold off on that. But the a is essentially the same a as in the standard form, but we don't know that yet. We will hopefully find that out. Okay, so let us then plug in our points. So y is equal to a x minus 4 squared plus 19. Next, we need to find this a. So to do that, we need to find another point to plug in for x and y so that we can uh, find the value of a. Now, you're not going to be able to plug in 419 because you won't get any information that way. But we do have another point. It's 0, 3. So let's plug that in. 3 equals a times 0 minus 4 squared plus 19. So 3 equals, this is 16a plus 19. 16a equals negative 16. So a is negative 1, which is good because this is an upside down parabola, so it should be negative. So that's nice to see that that's consistent. So, so far we have negative x minus 4 squared plus 19. There is our equation for the parabola. Next, we need to get the equation of the line. Because when we have the equation of the line, we can then set these two equal, the equation of the line and the equation of the quadratic, to then find the uh, point of intersection, or the points of intersection. So how do we find the equation of this line? Well, we have two points. So first thing we can do is get the slope, which is going to be y2 minus y1, so negative 1 minus negative 9, over 2 minus 0. So it's going to be 8 over 2. Slope is 4. And again, that makes sense because we are uh, having a positive slope here. It's going from lower left to upper right. You also could see that we are going to be going up 8 over 2. So rise over run up 8 over 2, which is exactly what we get here. So it makes sense. So we know the slope is 4. We know the y-intercept or the b value is this y-coordinate of this point right here where it hits the y-axis. So that the b value is negative 9. So now we have an equation for our line. It's 4x minus 9. So as we said, to find points of intersection with two curves, you set them equal to each other and you solve for x. So now we're going to set negative x minus 4 squared plus 19 equal to 4x minus 9. And now it's algebra. So let's work this through. Let's foil this out. It's x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus 19 for x minus 9. Now I'll distribute this negative. I get negative x squared plus 8x minus 16 plus 19 just becomes plus 3. Now I'll bring everything over to one side so that I can factor it. Let's actually bring everything over here to the right so that I get a positive x squared because I don't like dealing with negative x squared so I don't have to. So I'm going to add x squared to both sides. I get x squared. I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides, so I'll have minus 4x. And I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides, and I'll get minus 12. And let me just make sure I did that correctly. Yep. And let's go ahead and factor. So double bubble. Put an x and an x. So two numbers that multiply out to negative 12 and add up to negative 4 would be minus 6 and plus 2. So x equals negative 2 and 6. This point is the one that's positive, right? It's in the positive side of the x-axis, positive side of the y-axis. So we know that this is going to have to be uh, the x-coordinate of 6. And w, we don't really care what w is because they don't want to know it. They just want the value of v, which is the x-coordinate, which is just what we found out. It is 6. So your answer is indeed 6. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll.
and you can find the link in the description below the video.